This is take 3,675. I'm just kidding. I'm so happy to be back. However, <laughs> these last few days have been full of malfunctions. I'm not sure if it's the solar eclipse or what's happening, but guys, I'm now recording on my iPhone. We are going to get this sorted out, but I have recorded on my camera. I had recorded the microphone. I did so many different things and either the sound wasn't working, the video wasn't slow-mo, it didn't save, it just crashed. I mean, exhausting. I'm having a cup of coffee. It's my second cup, cup of coffee of the day. Nonetheless, I'm so happy to be back. I feel like the last time we were on here, I was pregnant secretly, you guys didn't know. You know, when we recorded a video together on how we met, which was like one of the most asked questions on TikTok, because I guess we never like touched on it. So it was a really good way to introduce our YouTube channel and kind of like introduce you guys to this new space but i have been recording so many things since that video obviously life has happened i've had a baby we we are fully like full-time in miami we've been traveling there's like so many things that have happened and i could not understand when i should start the video and like when the starting point was and how to put all the videos together however i just decided you know what we're just gonna go for it and we're just gonna jump right into life because truly there's never a right time for anything so in this vlog as i said we're jumping right in we are going to spend some time with our family. Um, Aloni's getting another tattoo. We actually got a tattoo when we were in California and it's kind of my fault because I opened a Pandora's box, but I didn't do it intentionally and not in the way that it ended up going. But I was looking at Aloni one day and I was like, babe, you have your entire family tattooed on your body, including your nephews and you don't have your son. That's kind of weird, don't you think? Maybe you should get like a small little like initial. And what I meant by that is this because that's what I got. LSM. Um, so we went to see Andrew the Kid. Um, Aloni really likes his tattoos. I'm pretty sure he used to work with Dr. Wu, something along that line, and he's very famous. He does like Selena Gomez, Nicola Peltz, the Beckham brothers. And Aloni got um, our son's name tattooed, Liam Samson, that's his middle name, and he's a Leo, so he also got like a face of a lion, which is really beautiful. And then I got LSM, and what I really like about it is that he did like a vintage fade, because I explained to him that I want something very thin, but I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to almost look washed out, and that's what he did to me. But ironically enough, I'm getting this tattoo removed that I got when I was 18 years old, when I went to college in St. Mark's in New York for like $40, okay? The worst decision of my life. I don't know what I was thinking. And three sessions in, I've just been procrastinating because it really hurts. Like it really hurts. It feels like your skin's burning. It smells like it's not pleasant. So fast forward, you guys are gonna see in this vlog that Aloni got another tattoo that he surprised me with. Well, it wasn't a really surprise to me, but I didn't know until like two days prior because he did it with the dragon. I will link all of his credentials, but the dragon um, is out of Bang Bang in New York and he came to Miami. He was doing a few days of tattooing here and Aloni got an incredible, sentimental and beautiful tattoo. His work is just insane. You guys will see it in the vlog. I don't want to spoil it too much. We had some F1 prep and fun leading up to F1 in May. It's going to be the first weekend and um, some other things in between. And at the end of this vlog, I will show you a couple of items that I've been wanting to share. And I feel like this intro is so rushed through, but I'm so happy to be back. And the reason it feels rushed through because I've recorded this intro about six times now with all the malfunctions. I'm ordering a different camera tonight. Like this is, this is not working for me. My um, amazing youtube slash videographer i don't want to say his name but he explained to me yesterday that basically my camera doesn't read something on the screen it's like gibberish to me but it doesn't read and i need a different camera even though that camera is amazing but the camera is meant for other things not for vlogging so we are going to move on to a vlogging camera and then my microphone has been having some malfunctions so anyway this is why it's rushed through but i hope you guys missed me as much as i missed you i'm going to promise you that i will be more consistent with youtube i'm going to try to get on a schedule within the next month that we're going to figure out um in terms of like how the content's going to flow it's for sure going to be two vlogs a week i'm not sure if it's going to be like a sunday wednesday or a sunday thursday type of situation but we're going to you know we're going to get it situated and we are going to have so much fun together because i'm very excited to have long format videos with you it's not enough on tiktok it's not enough on instagram and i want to be able to share things that i like i want to review like makeup products hair i want to show you all the clothes that i'm buying all of the in between in, in life and traveling baby stuff and so much more so 
I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be back. And again, I'm sorry that this is so rushed through, but I hope you enjoy this vlog. And I have so much good content for you that I've been recording this week for next week's vlog. So it's gonna be chef's kiss. We're on the way to Surf Club to have lunch with my mom and my brother and his girlfriend. And Elonchik. Hello. And Liam, who's in the back of us. He's quiet until we stop. Once we stop, he gets a little crazy and he's like, move, 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 move. I've been really into this lip combo. It's called, it's the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in Almond. And then Lancome sent me a bunch of PR. And it's like this lipstick that you basically click and it comes out. And the color is called 300 Self Revealing Intimate, which I'll link all the stuff below. It's really nice. It like goes on matte. But it's creamy so it doesn't feel dry it feels kind of like chapstick i love going to lido it's so nice it feels like you're in newport beach like at pelican hill oh my god my sunglasses are so dirty babe that's standard for you i know do you have like a glasses cleaner any color you want guys i'm so bad with sunglasses i literally just toss and like throw them everywhere in my bag and i never use a case no it's like my one really like it happened about me that i find it, it being an ick and i still do it there's your friend and his wife. I'm wearing on my face um, sunscreen. It's the color signs, color signs, because that's how it's spelled, so that's how I say it. But it's like the color signs sunscreen that um, adjusts to your skin. And so it takes away the redness, and then I mix it in with some of the Say um, Beauty Glow something. I don't know what it's called, but it like basically makes you look glowy, and so it's really nice because it's like radiates. And under that, I use the Pig 400 cream from Biologique to help me with pigment, and it also has this beautiful, like, um, pearl, I don't know, coloring to it, and so it looks really nice when you put it all together. It doesn't really transcend on the camera, but I'm really into it. And I'm also wearing a Sophia Richie Grange dress with solid and striped, and Shop Pop sent it to me because it's on Shop Pop, so it's really cute. I got they sent me two different dresses. I will show you guys later, and I'll link them below. But I really like it, and it's gonna be my European staple with my mesh Alaya flats that Aloni hates. I told him that just to prepare him that. Over the summer, I'm going to be wearing the Alaya shoes all summer, both in white and black, and he feels great. I have to start in those all summer, but they're the trend. This hotel actually has a lot of history because the Kennedys used to stay here all the time. Well, you told me to, you told me to undress him. Guys, there's no better advice than the advice your mom gives you because anything you do, my mom's advice is better. My mom's feeding Liam and Liam's throwing everything. Liam's naked because it's hot. In his favorite state. We're on the way to get Aloni's tat. Mm. We stopped at Surrey Hills, which we love. We realized that we really like Surf Club the restaurant at night in Thomas Keller's and we like surf the hotel the Four Seasons like during the day to sit out there to have coffee but the food there for lunch is just not good right boom it's just, it's just very mid and like overpriced you know we like food we like to eat so. this tattoo artist is from Cali or from New York? New York I'll vlog a little bit and show you guys guys look at this tree I thought that it was colored but it goes all the way up like that that's insane what a tree. <laughs> this car is so cool. So here we are. <laughs> What's the shop called? Uh, so long, but it used to be inked. It used to be inked. It's very cool video games here and he's an artist called dragon visiting from new york bang bang in soho <laughs> the vibe okay let's see explain what you did here i was honored to get tattooed by the infamous dragon so this is um you and i can i be this the skinnier one sure <laughs> okay this of course as you know is from the logo from our wedding. If you guys recognize the coffee machine logo, that's right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so this is the number eight, which symbolizes our life. A lot of things in our life. The month 
that we met, the month that we got married, the month that our son was born. And this is the year we got married. This is the year that Liam was born. And this is our, Liam our lion, our Prince Liam at the top. Sick. Are you happy? Very happy. I love it. It's, it's beautiful. Next beautiful. time we go to New York, we will get another tattoo. Let's do it. I'm on my way to acupuncture and I realized that I've never talked about my TMG journey on YouTube so I decided that I want to share with you guys because it, I hope that it can be helpful to somebody if you're going through the same things and these are the things that are really just like helping me. So basically I've been having and experiencing a very bad TMG pain especially like this last month to the point that I've been having really debilitating headaches and migraines and I wake up with my particularly left side super 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 sore and I notice in the middle of the night I just kind of like bite down really tight and I don't release my mouth like I don't open my mouth for some reason in the morning when I wake up it's like oh my god it like hurts and then sometimes the pain is so bad that it gives me such a bad debilitating migraine and I'm already prone to migraines I used to experience a lot of migraines when I was in college and in my first job and it was so bad that I would sometimes even um, throw up because I would just make me so nauseous and these are the type of migraines that I've been getting recently too because of the TMJ I know it's from the TMJ there's nothing else it's just because the pain is like shooting up into my eyes but what's really interesting is that it's really hard to pinpoint sometimes the root of your TMJ so I went to the dentist and I don't grind my teeth so that means I'm clenching it means that the posture and position of my tongue is not correct my jaw is disaligned which we figured out after we did um, this like stimulation where they uh, hook you up to this monitor for like an hour and a half, two hours, and it kind of pulsates to your muscles, both on your neck, on your jaw, like by um, your temple, and it really just helps you relax to the point that when you like lean forward and you draw, uh, drop your jaw, it drops to the correct place, so they're able to get a proper reading on the computer to get you a proper orthodontic retainer that will be leveled to the correct posture and position that your jaw should be at so that when you are sleeping it can be aligned properly so my jaw needs to like go like this a little bit and so that when I'm on the computer or when I'm on the phone when I'm leaning like this down that my jaw is not like again being disaligned and a little reason too is I did Invisalign um, three and a half years ago just to correct some of the gaps and just some of the my teeth and I did a very short term like six to seven months and the Invisalign actually doesn't really correct your bite because that's not what I went in for I went in for to correct some of the gaps and like the inverted tooth that I had and it also gave me a lisp which is very prominent now that also can you know contributed to the posture of the way my jaw is but anyway so long story short your jaw the dentist explained to me is telling of all the different pains in your body. So when, you're, when your jaw is disaligned, right, it causes you to walk like a little bit like lopsided, it causes hip pain, it causes like muscle pain um, in your like lower legs, it causes foot pain, it causes neck pain, which I have a lot of tension in my neck. So it really just like messes like everything up in your whole body. And so the position and the, and the posture of your jaw is really important because that kind of balances your whole body and like evens you out, which makes sense, right? If like the left side is like, you know, more like facing up and the one the right side is more down and that's how your hips are and that's how your whole body is, which can cause like pain and disalignment. So I've been really taking care of it. I did my impressions for my orthodontic retainer um, two and a half weeks ago. So I'm waiting. They said it takes about three and a half weeks to a month because it's like very specific. They have to like mold it and do all the stuff. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. But in the interim, I have been going to um, PT um, at my chiropractor office. So my chiropractor has an incredible like massage therapist and she's also like a physical therapist. So she does a lot of massages in my face. I go once a week and it's so painful the first time I did it. She also puts on gloves and like massages the inside of your mouth and it literally brought me to tears I was like oh my god like whatever but after the relief was so good I felt so good and she did it for me on a Thursday which was like right in time for the weekend so I had a lot of that pain alleviated and it's so crazy because when she would like press certain trigger points like in my face and then like in my neck I would get this like shooting pain into my arm and into the, and like it would like tingle my fingertips and like into my back and she was this is all connected it's because the nerve is, is there and it's all like kind of like blocks in and like I don't know it's just the, the way she explained it to me like made a lot of sense 
and then um, my chiropractor always adjusts me after and I do some cupping sometimes um, especially in my back because well cupping obviously is in your back but especially in my lower back is what I meant to say because I have a pinched nerve that had started bothering me again it bothered me a little bit while I was pregnant but it started bothering me recently I think because Liam's getting heavier and I'm carrying him and so that helps um, but my um, chiropractor suggested to me this really 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 amazing amazing acupuncturist who actually specializes in women's health and she specializes in like fertility like acupuncture fertility and tmj and migraines and it was like wow so the first time i went to her and she just like poked me a couple of times i don't know what i expected because i've done um acupuncture before on my back and i felt like instant relief because they would like do a trigger point and i would just feel like oh, super relaxed and so she did it in my face and i literally passed out probably like a minute and a half i was like out for an hour and i woke up with like drool on my face but I, the day that i had gotten into her i had such bad tmj pain that i had a migraine and when i woke up my migraine was gone <clears throat> and i was like oh my god i love you so much and so now i go twice a week she said i need just 10 sessions for now because you don't want to overdo it so i have been going to her this is my third week of me going which has helped me a lot she also worked on my um pinch nerve a little bit because you really really want to get the blood going into like those areas and that you know kind of hurt and you want to trigger their nerve and just get the blood pumping and yeah you really got to take care of yourself but it's really funny because i feel like i was telling Aloni like oh and i went to the orthopedic doctor because my two toes have been hurting me and my toes only have been hurting me because i wear heels all the time and i on my um, left foot i am susceptible to a bunion which i will have at some point in my life because it's hereditary and they say like it's just genetic and like everyone has bunions in my family so i went to the doctor to take care of that but what leads me back to the point is i said to aloni it's really funny because I like always neglect myself. I never take care of myself. I always think about others. I'm always like, oh, it's fine. I, I, I don't sleep. I don't need to sleep. I can sleep three hours. I don't need to do this. I don't need to exercise. And like once I decided to really like take care of myself because I told you guys I've been doing Weight Watchers and just kind of like watching what I'm eating because I want to lose a little bit of weight. Not just not because I'm like so like vain and body conscious and focused, but it's because I a don't fit into any of my clothes that's hanging in my closet and B I feel a little bit lethargic and tired and I want to feel better. I want to feel a little bit lighter on my feet, especially now that Liam's like has so much energy and I'm really busy with work. Like I don't want to feel lethargic and tired all the time. And I'm drinking my colostrum with my electrolytes from Armra. And when I told him when I started taking care of myself, you realize that once you start taking care of one issue, all of these other things start to hurt. And it's not that they start to hurt all of a sudden because you're like taking care of yourself, but it's because you're finally paying attention to your body and then you're realizing, oh, my jaw hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my neck hurts. Oh, my toe hurts. So I'm like taking care of all the stuff. And it's funny because I was walking out again this morning and I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, acupuncture. Well, my husband's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to acupuncture. He's like, oh my God. He's like, you're literally at the doctor's because I am I go to all these different things now like three days a week because I'm doing like a certain amount of sessions until like I feel better. And he's like, oh my God, you would think you're like a athlete, you know, training, getting, getting ready for the Olympics. So, but it's, you, you really need to take care of yourself and, you know, whether it's just doing it on your own or like going to see a medical professional to help you with certain things that are bothering you because once you let things pile up like I've neglected myself for the last three years I literally haven't paid attention to my body I've just kind of like got used to this pain that pain and like whatever and it's like very it becomes very tedious right to like make an appointment to the doctor it becomes tedious to like go to these appointments and it's like oh it's gonna take three hours you know I went to the dentist like thinking I'm gonna be at the dentist office for like an hour and a half and then she's like no you have to be in the monitor for two hours and impressions and this you're like four hours deep you know and it's like it's like it's very tedious and annoying I get it because because I like that, but you need to take care of yourself because if you don't, all these things end up piling up and then they kind of like all catch up to you and hit you at once. So if I can give you any advice, it's really just pay attention and hone in, hone in, especially like on the bigger problems, not the little things. But one thing also that I was thinking about this week is that I used to think that plastic surgeons were always like the bigger money maker and they were always going to be like in business like if you had to think, think of like a profession for a doctor because plastic surgeons thrive on people's insecurities right they don't thrive on people's insecurities that's the wrong um, choice of words but people are always 
unhappy with certain parts of themselves and their bodies like me everyone is it's normal right you're like you don't like your breasts or you don't like your nose you don't like your face maybe you're whatever and everybody always will find money especially women will always find money to fix something that bothers them because they want to feel better about themselves again not because they're vain but because maybe they just are very insecure about something and they want to fix it but then I thought to myself that no I think the two people, the two doctors that will always be in business will be a dentist and a foot doctor because your teeth, when you have teeth pain, that is the worst pain ever. Like you can't go about your day because you're in so much pain. And when your feet are in pain, you also cannot live a happy life. So I feel like those two doctors will always be in business because your quality of life really depends on your feet and your mouth pain i just came out of my acupuncture i feel so much better i feel narcoleptic i literally just like pass out i just told her i was like i wish you can come at night to my house and help me because as soon as she plugs me i'm like oh i'm drinking i think i already said this i'm drinking um armor colostrum and some electrolytes that i like i will link them below for you if you're interested and yeah, I'm going. I have to wait. I have like half an hour. Maybe I'll go get a coffee. Um, I have a appointment at the Social Security office because I'm finally changing my last name. I'm finally getting around to it. I, I have it changed on my um, marriage certificate, but I never filed the documents to like do that whole thing because the process was just so tedious and like I was pregnant. I didn't like want to deal with it. But I feel FOMO left out when like my husband and my son are on the same last name and I'm not. So. I'm going to go do that now and it was going to be a surprise um, to my husband but then we were going back and forth because I was like should I do the full last name because our last name is Matsonashvili or should I do Matson and we were like going back and forth back and forth because you know so I just wanted to talk to him about it but I was going to surprise him but this is an F1 pre-event and I'm wearing an Argent suit so that's that I brought my sunny with me, but the sun's gone, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed everything you just saw. This will be, I'm going to preface this now, this will be the shortest vlog, I'm pretty sure, for now that's going to live on this page because I'm just trying to like start somewhere and get it out so that way we can follow along for next week and the week after and all the weeks to come. But as I mentioned before we go, I want to show you guys a couple of things. I already had opened the packaging and I already had went through all the motions because I recorded this before. But I am a partner with my Teresa for almost two years and I love shopping on their site. For me, they're like the destination of fashion. I just feel like my style is very much my Teresa. Like everything that they buy, the buying team does an incredible job of buying both like things that are in trend and a lot of classic pieces and just like they just understand they have their eye on the pulse and i have been in this like stage in my life where when i was pregnant i had this like really big aversion to like half my clothes and then it obviously faded after i gave birth but i felt like i had a new rebirth of style i also felt like because i wasn't living in new york anymore it was like my first year of adjustment i was pregnant we had just moved back to miami and I felt like my wardrobe didn't necessarily match Miami. Like I had so much like New York stuff in terms of like weather. Everything was like very fall, winter. And um, I didn't have anything really for summer and spring. And summer is like a prominent season here because it's always summer. Um, I also felt like my closet has been extremely trendy. It's full of like trendy things because I've acquired a lot of beautiful things from after I graduated college because I worked in fashion before I worked in the family business and I acquired a lot of beautiful stuff. However, a lot of my things are very trendy and like if you look at some of these items, you will know that they are from like this year per se because that was the trend and everyone had to have it. Like I'll give you some examples. Like when the dad sneaker came out for Balenciaga, like I needed two. Why did I need two? I don't know. I could have just bought one. I got things that were um, had monograms all over it because everybody was going crazy for like Logomania, so like Fendi, Balenciaga, this, that, like I fell into that trap. And I realized that it got really hard for me now to get dressed because I didn't have a lot of classic pieces, right? Like in terms of having like a, just a regular classic black blazer, I didn't have one, but I had a black blazer that had like cutouts and like rhinestones and sparkles, which really doesn't like go on a day-to-day -day when you just want to throw on a pair of jeans with like a white t-shirt. So 
that's really what I've been focusing on. I've been focusing on doing a closet sale, which has been taking me really three months. I've been talking about this closet sale, but only because I haven't had time to like fully sort through my clothes and fully like understand. I've also been fluctuating in weight. So I've been holding off on the closet sale just to wear some of the things before I get rid of them because I've had them from before and they like, you know, fit me now. Um, I'm just buying things that are classic and that do not have like a trend period to them because I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be able to buy something. Even if it's a, it's like a fast fashion piece or an expensive piece, I want to be able to invest my money into something and know that two, three years from now, I'll want to wear it again. So I'm going to jump right in. I got um, actually six pieces from my Teresa, but only two of them are here and the rest are going to come in the next few shipments, which I will um, share with you in next week's vlog. But I have been on a craze for belts. Contrary to popular belief, I only had two belts. My one belt was a very, very thin Chanel patent belt that's meant for like a waist cinching item. So if you're wearing like a chunky sweater or a dress, like that's what it was for. And like, I never wore it because it's just like, neither here nor there and then i had a belt from louis vuitton with the famous louis vuitton monogram on it that was from the virgil alba collection i actually bought it in Cannes in like 2018 and it's also like you can't really wear it that much because it's super like loud so i've been in a craze of belts this year i've been buying very classic things and i i have a lot of white and like cream trousers and i have a light like a lot of like light denim jeans and i have a lot of purses that have um white or some gold hardware in it and i didn't have a regular white belt with gold hardware i actually don't have any white belts so i have been looking for a white belt there was another belt that i saw before a few months ago that i was going to purchase and then i realized i'm like it's too trendy like if you saw it a year or two from now you'll know that it's from like this year and i kind of was like mm, i'll just wait for something else and i didn't want to get an hermes kelly belt because i got one etope with um palladium hardware and i just wanted something different i wanted something a little bit bigger and like a little bit chunkier so i got a bottega veneta belt from my Teresa, and i will show you this one you guys will know it has the classic rope here with the leather and it's a beautiful gold hardware and it's just white leather which i love i also for a trick that i do whenever i buy belts i buy one size bigger because you i mean maybe not you but me i fluctuate in weight all the time and i take my belts to the cobbler and i always ask them to just add one more or two more holes so that way if i like lose weight or i gain weight i don't need to buy another belt this one will be able to carry me through either or and i will link everything below that you see in this video this belt is amazing i'm really excited and it's going to just go with all of my trousers and i know that this is so classic like it's not going to be tiring it's not going to be like annoying for me to look at in a few years from now so i really love that the next thing that i got from my Teresa was this viral tank top that i've been seeing everywhere now i'm going to try to link it i'm going to see what other sites have it i know they also have it in black however this top was only left in a large and i was like okay i'm gonna get it in the large because i feel like it'll be fine because sometimes this brand's um ready to wear pieces run a little bit small but if not then i'll have to return it but i don't they didn't have any other sizes so they were sold out and if you can guess it please comment below i'm going to give you one second while i take a sip of coffee so i hope you can guess it what's the top did you guess right if you guess the shirt it is the y project shirt here it is the tank top with the invisible strap here so i always wondered what it was that they held it here if you're wondering like me it's this clear wire and they have care instructions here on how to do it and how to take care of it i'm sure you have to either dry clean it or just wash it by hand in like cold water but you can't over stretch it because it could break so i have to be very very careful with this and how i put it on but i will try to find some sizes for you guys and link them below I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm so, so happy to be back and I hope you guys subscribe and follow and I will be back in a few short days and we will be more consistent and show you everything you want. If there's something that you guys want me to talk about or show you or review or just go in depth about, please comment below and let me know so that I have some information on the things that you guys wanted to know about um also if you don't follow me on tiktok and instagram it's going to be the same handle as here diza slavsky i will write it here on the screen so you can follow me more for there my tiktok page is very much about food 
and about like beauty and like all the things that I like and enjoy just kind of day to day like as is in real time and my Instagram is more fashion based and I show a lot of recommendations there especially in IG stories I like to link a lot of clothes and recommendations and things that you guys ask me about all the time that I'm using that I'm wearing that I'm buying and I try to update LTK as well so that you can see everything there but I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will be back soon